welcome to the Warren Avenue tutorial. So this Warren Avenue tutorial is different than the other ones because this one has our awesome new hood option. So we'll do the peplum length, long sleeves, and the hood in this video. So the first thing you wanna do is print page one of your pattern pieces if you're printing at home. If you're doing a um, AO, it's just gonna come as one big sheet. So print that first page and measure your one inch square or your four centimeter square and make sure that it's right on. Remember, when you do measurements like that, it's best to use rigid plastic or a steel rule. Using a tape measure, you can do, but they do stretch out over time. So if you, if you do, it's best to maybe uh, check your, your tape up against something else. So say like your cutting mat and make sure that it hasn't stretched out over time, okay? And when you measure, make sure that you are not starting at the ends, okay? Don't start here, don't start here, and don't start here. These areas can all get damaged. They can, for this, this can get pulled off. If it gets pulled away, now your inch is longer than an inch. So a rule of thumb is to always start your measurement at the one inch mark. So here, here, or you can do this square right here. And that avoids inaccurate measurements as best as possible. What you want to do is to take your outer hood pieces and your liner hood pieces and lay them right sides together. And after you have them right sides together, you will sew them. So you will sew this area right here and this area right here. You don't sew this. This is where your face pops out. And you don't sew this this is where it attaches to the neck of your, um, your pebble. Okay, so let's go sew that. And just like magic, ta-da, they are sewed. The next step is to sew them together. We want to do that with the right sides together. So it doesn't matter which way you do, turn right side out, liner, outer, doesn't matter. As long as you insert one hood into the other hood so that they are right sides together. And you're going to line up the face opening part, which I talked about in the last clip. Okay? And then we will just sew this. So we will sew from here all the way around here, the two pieces together. So you wouldn't lay it like this and just sew like this, all four pieces, cause then, uh, well, you wouldn't be able to see. So we will put it in the machine and sew like this all the way around. Oh, so our hood is sewn at that uh, face opening that we talked about. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it right side out. And this is what it looks like. Okay. And now you simply just shove the liner into the outer piece like this. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to press this edge right here. You see how it's kind of, you know, sloppy looking? Pressing it and then top stitching it will prevent it from, after you wash it, it getting all weird and unruly like it is right now. So press it and then top stitch it using a zigzag stitch or some other stretch stitch, like a cover stitch. And then set that 
hood aside. And get your other pieces out because we're going to do all that pressing that I talked about. Okay? So every hem, your skirt, your sleeves, your, not the undershirt, and your, uh, your crop top pieces need to have their hems pressed towards the wrong side. And you don't want to sew them just yet. We're just going to do this because at the later time when we go to actually sew it, the fabric will automatically just want to go back to where you had pressed it. And it makes press or it makes sewing that hem so much easier. So I recommend you get that iron hot and you get all these hems turned up. The skirt, if you're doing a rolled hem, you don't have to press that up. You will just, when you do your roll hem, cut that hem width off. So if you're not hemming this and you're doing a rolled hem, go ahead and toss that to the side. So I will be pressing these up. I will be pressing my hood and top stitching it. And then I will meet you back here and we'll put the undershirt, we'll sew it to the, um, the peplum skirt. Okay, so now that the hems are pressed up, our hood is top stitched, we can set all these wonderful pieces to the side and start getting our peplum assembled. There we go. Okay. So the first thing that we want to do is we will sew the skirt to the top part. So right sides together. And what I like to do when I uh, attach them is I find center, whether you're using uh, the front or the back right here, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter as long as you find the center. And then find the center of your skirt. as best as possible. I like to mark my centers with a pin because it feels a little bit more precise to me. Okay. And then we lay them right sides together, lining them up at that center point. And I'm just going to replace those pins with a clip because it's more secure. Now I'm just going to connect this here at this corner. And then connect this here at this corner. And then I'm going to take this over to my machine and using a stretch stitch, I'll use my serger, I'm going to sew the two pieces together. And then I will repeat that on my other bodice uh, undershirt, make sure it's the undershirt, and skirt peplum piece. Serger, we're going to sew the skirt to the undershirt. I have my pieces clipped together. I'm going to keep these raw edges lined up. And sew. So with the Warren Avenue, because it has that over uh, the crop top that goes over, you can't sew the sleeves on to the bodice like we typically would. We're actually going to have to sew this sleeve together and then we will insert it into the bodice and sew this part last. So we're just going to sew this side right here of the sleeve and we'll do it for both of them. So next I'm going to take my sleeves over to my cover stitch and I'm just going to fold that hem back up and finish it off. Sew it. So you go, um, you also do that. Take it to your sewing machine or cover stitch machine, turn the hem up and sew it in place. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I'm going to cover stitch my 
sleeve I'm turning it right side out because I like um, the more decorative looking stitch that's created by the looper uh, so yeah so the right side's going to be down on this and then the inside will have that will be in the foot I like to stick this sham I made under it and you can make one also it's just a couple little pieces of cardboard that have been taped together and with your needles down you can lift your foot up and place this behind the needles and then it makes going over that hump a little easier Now we're going to take the bodice pieces. We're gonna sew them right sides together at the shoulder seams, right here. And then sew them right here. And then you're gonna line up the side seams. And you'll sew from here all the way down to here. And you'll repeat on this side, okay? And then you're also going to want to do that on your crop top pieces. So right sides together, unfold the hem, and sew together at the shoulder seam and then the side seams, okay? And then once you have your crop top done at the, all that sewing, Turn the hem back up and sew it in place using a stretch stitch, like a zigzag, or your cover stitch. Okay, so we have our roll hem done. We have the hem done on our crop top. We are ready to start assembling this. What we're going to do is we are going to take the under and insert it into the crop top. So just like that. And now I'm just going to turn this inside out like this. And I'm going to line up the seam of my sleeve with the seam, the side seam of all of those shirt pieces. So the crop top and the undershirt. Okay? It's very important that you get all of these lined up because if you do not, then, so, and make sure that when you are clipping this that your shoulder seams are going towards the back. The um, undershirt can go forward so that it's not so, such a thick seam. So undershirt forward, Crop top back, okay? Okay, so we're gonna take it over to the serger and we're gonna sew it in the round. I'm going to insert this so that my side seams are pretty close to being under um, my plate. And then I'm gonna line up all these raw edges I'm gonna pull my clip off and I'm gonna sew. So here we go. Our uh, sleeves are sewn on. You can thread your tails in. I'm lazy, I just cut them off. My kids don't care, they don't know. Next we will do the hood. And this is the last step. So if you have not turned your iron off, you can do it now. So to put the hood on, first we need to find the center front and the center back of the shirt piece, okay? Knowing where these points are, 
we'll make sure that our hood is sewn on evenly, if not very close to evenly. So I fold it in half and I mark these points. It's a little bit more difficult length because we have two pieces here. And I mark the points with a pin. So my hood, when it's worn, this is the top of the head, okay? And we've already talked, this is what gets sewn to the neck opening. This is the back of the hood, this is the front. Your face will stick out here, okay? So this is the outside fabric, this is the liner fabric. I want to lay this upside down like this so that my outer fabric will be touching my shirt when I lay it together. So I'm going to lay it so that the back center line lines up with the seam of the hood and I'm going to pin it in place. Making sure that all four pieces of fabric are lined up. We're going to wrap the front of the hood around, okay? We're only going to overlap it a little bit. Overlap center line a little bit. So my center line is marked by this pin, it's in line with this clip, okay? And then I'm going to wrap this one around also, okay? So this is a lot of fabric right here, and before I take this to sew the hood on, I'm actually going to baste these cross pieces in place because I always seem to miss one. So I'm going to baste those in place. You're more than welcome to do that. And then we'll meet over at the serger and we will sew this hood on, and then we will be done. So I got my uh, crossover, <clears throat> baste it in place. I'm going to bring my needles up, take my shoe off, and I'm going to line all four of these pieces of fabric up, and I'm going to insert it under my foot. Get a few stitches in it. Now, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that your seams are still going the right way. So however you ended up sewing them, you don't want on your arm for it to be going one way and then at your neck going the other. So make sure that they're still going in the right direction. And then very carefully, just keep lining all these pieces up. So. We did it. We have sewn this new version of the Warren Avenue Peplum. You can also do the shirt length. I'm just going to cut this off. With the hood, too. I just did it uh, with the Peplum. I thought would be cute, but you can do, you can add the hood to any of the styles 